Yeah, because mm-hmm. I noticed some on one of the films you had all of them dudes. If you really wanted to, you could have probably signed. Um, what's the boy's name that got hot as fish grease down? There? Young Thug, Young Thug, Migos, Young Thug, the Migos, all of them. You had all them in your movies. Haven't meeting them dudes. They all was just in the area. I'm just a, a people person, so I'm a network. The young niggas like, Fig, you should work with him. I'm like, damn, this nigga looks strange as hell, this young thug character. Bro, f with him, bro. The people love him, bro. Like, he's somebody. I'm telling you, with him. So I start f with him. I look past the weird shit. And, you know, he was cool. Our music and the we did, it was impactful. The Migos, when Gucci, me and Gucci Man did the album. He signed some dudes called Amigos, but they was getting in so much trouble, offsetting them, going to jail, different shit. Then Gucci Man ended up going to jail. So he sold them to QC, P. They had another label at that time. But when they signed Amigos, they said, these guys is good enough to put the real bag behind. They started a new label called QC. And then that shit took flight. So just being part of this, you know, I remember paying Future 3500 to come do my birthday party. That was in 2013. I was turning 40 years old. I had been in Atlanta for three years. My name was going up. I got some money coming in. It's like I'm getting planted into the, into the, the environment. I did so much work, niggas start thinking I was from Atlanta. How I had motion going down there, how I'm moving and moving through them blocks, I'm doing all them. They like, man, who is this nigga? It's just I wasn't scared. It wasn't that I'm tough or a gangster or nothing. Right. It was just that I'm so hood orientated and I'm so comfortable with God and myself. I'm not here to cause a problem, but I know jealousy or a nigga pressing me about being in their hood, it can happen at any moment. So I already signed up for it. A nigga press me, I'm pressing back. Mm-hmm. If the nigga get on me, I'm getting on the nigga back. And from them time, my first altercations, and niggas seeing how I responded, it's like, it wasn't like, they could have piled up on me, like, nigga, you gotta get up out of here, nigga, you can't fight back. Nah, nigga, that's between me and this nigga. So most times the hood never added they self. Mm-hmm. You know, niggas gonna disagree, or yeah, somebody try to run off with some, or a nigga done stole some, you know, like different little shit where right. you getting your manhood tested. It ain't worth crashing out, but sometimes, happen that can make it easy to make you be like, man, I'm finna crash out on these niggas. But that wasn't, I didn't go down there for that. I went down there for success. Because you, did, you, you had an altercation down there because you got shot down there. Yeah, you? I got shot two different times. Both of them attempted robberies that I wasn't just agreeing to. Because I know once you get robbed, nigga, that's it. Hang up, hang up your streets. You is new. You a lunch meal now. Every nigga who was somebody who had a little status and once they got robbed, they start becoming a target with multiple robberies now, multiple attempts, niggas testing them. Both mines, I wasn't going. And then I wasn't tough. I just already signed up for it. Like, bro, don't just cause a nigga got a gun don't mean because a nigga point you supposed to just hair up and give your shit up. Sometimes it ain't no bullets in the mother. It's a 50-50 chance, but when somebody that you show love to try to rob you, you might resist a little bit more. Like, bro, what is you doing, bro? I'm robbing you today. Robbing me today. Right. You know, imagine a nigga you've been f***ing with two, three years, and one day he say, bro, I'm robbing you today. Hmm. I'm like, hold on. Nigga like, what? The nigga, bro, they kept asking me for the money. Now, a real robber will shoot you in the leg, say, bitch ass nigga, this ain't no game, nigga, come on with it. Okay, you know what it is. But when the nigga like, bro, you gotta give us something. For 10 damn near 15 minutes of asking, this ain't a robbery, nigga. You already trying to rob me for my manhood. So that I could be able to say, we ride feed. But what ended up happening, I just kept praying to Allah, the one, Master, Master Farah Muhammad, the one, Minister Farrakhan, told us, brother, pray to, to the, how we pray, how Elijah Muhammad pray, how you think we protect it? Allah real, you got to call on him, but you can't depend on him when you think you just in trouble. You got to talk to him beforehand, and you got to do some good. So I was feeding people, I'm trying to go do the good work, all that. Mm-hmm. Imagine me feeding people, and right after I feed, then niggas come talking about the robbery shit. But I've been in here for three, four years. Mm-hmm. So I could have gave it up. All they had to do was hit me in the head a couple times with the pistol. Then I would have gave it up. It wasn't that. It was the demand with the pistol and the words and the threat of it. Mm-hmm. I had a baby the day before. 
there was no way possible I'm going back to the hospital or bringing my wife home with my brand new daughter and all my kids. I got robbed for our money. And what's so cold? He put all that in the movie. <laughs> I had to. That's how I knew about it. It was like the real life thing. Right. You saw us on? Mm -hmm. My real guts, the real surgery, the real morphine and, oh, we got to do emergency surgery. They got their cameras out. I'm like, what well, that? Give me my camera. <laughs> Cause I ain't dead right now. I don't know what's finna happen, but I know y'all got y'all hands in my guts and nobody gonna believe that my stomach split open like this and they in there talking about, we gotta stop the bleeding. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, shit, let me put this on my... That was just another thing of my type of mentality of... Turn it into something. Turn it into you gotta something turn your pain mm -hmm. and your ill into something. If you do that, that's the most powerful thing is a man who his wife left him or something and now he got to use that pain to go further or the homies betrayed you like, nah, not the bros. Like, yeah, the bros played me, bro. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can't call on them no more. You actually got to do it on your own. That'll drive a nigga to become successful. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Didn't DJ Quick say something in his song about he had his homies or something in the studio or something and he came back, the studio was gone. Yep. He's like, oh shit, I'm finna make me a way Born better raised album. In now, next thing yeah. you know, he got a whole new hit record. And it's always those closest to you because you seem to always be in the right place at the right time. Because I heard one of my partners was telling me, I don't know, I don't remember where I heard it from actually, but when P was in the bay and he first started doing his thing, wasn't nobody really messing with him. They said you was the first one to step up and say, you know what, I'm gonna this dude. He I'm gonna give him a chance because he was garbage, and I'm gonna keep it real. He became a better artist that we appreciated. But in the beginning, like, bro, that ain't it. Them songs ain't it. Them beats ain't it and the way he rapping. You know, he from New Orleans, so he had to... Right. We wasn't used to a, a rapper with a different voice, first of all. That's number one. You got a whole the different... sound was different. Everything was... Just, we was wasn't high. used to that, not coming out our section. We was used right. to it coming from... So we looked at him as one of us. We didn't know you born and raised down there. You the gangster. You a real, you a real gang member from nigga the Calio Projects. When I worked it with him and put the stamp and showed him how to go get his graphics done, how to go get his, uh, uh, to, how to put the album covers on the inside. If you got something new, put it on the inside. I taught him all of that. He used the hell out of that for many years. And listen, Definitely. and that was a beautiful. He was the king of that. Billion uh, albums coming out, and, and that stop, concept. Yeah. I'm the first person to put out ten albums in one year. Hustle that was till I major. Hustle till I major. You feel me? <laughs> so that being in the right place at the right time, I think what it is is giving a person that looked like an underdog a chance. Right. At the right time. Like the rapper of the game. It was 400 rappers. Minister Farcon said, I want all the rappers to come see me. With me and Russell Simmons, we want to talk to y'all about the independent game, how not to get tricked in the industry, uh, some more knowledge about the hidden hand and the plots and plans, you know, so that we could look out and watch out. When I walked in that room, it was 400 rappers in this room. He the only rapper that I got the phone number from and said, this the next month for the West Coast. I'm the first person to say it, but for it to actually happen, that was, and, 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 and I was hurt I wasn't part of it, but I was happy to know that my skill set worked. I told the world, I put him with Nas Escobar on QB to Compton. Me and Daz Dillinger just did Long Beach to Filmo. So off that buzz, finding a new artist, how do I launch him? My man's had eight unreleased Nas songs. I say, man, let me get them songs. I'm gonna blend it with my new artist, The Game, and call it QB to Compton, Nas and The Game. To the people, it looked like they together. But Nas was having beef with Jay-Z, with Ether, and uh, whatever them two songs, them niggas were going back mm -hmm. and forth. Right in the middle of that beef is when I dropped the game shit. And it made them hot as fish grease. Nas was on the cover of Double XL. On that cover is the game, the Black Wall Street that I had, and the albums that I got coming out. The next issue, 50 Cent, Dr. Dre, Eminem on Double XL cover. If I would have waited one more month to put me an ad out, because I went with the Nas because it was hot, I didn't know Dr. Dre and them was finna grab 50 Cent and it was finna be a cover that was their biggest cover ever. But long yeah. story short, finding game and marketing him in the Double XL on a national scale 
he was able to take the songs that I paid for and go shop around and then do new songs of the mixtape circuit. He went and got his own deal. I can't claim that. He went, he went That's for That's when I came up and stayed with you. <laughs> Small world. It is. Small world. <laughs> that, that whole concept. That was crazy. That, that was whole crazy. concept, how that really happened. People got to say JT the first. He predicted it. I couldn't say it was for sure. I just said he is the prototype. He, 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 he tall. He rapping like fabulous. He sound like shine, but he talking LA gangbang raps. To me, I thought, I'm like, this is him. Oh yeah, for sure. That was and cool. then he became that. So when I work with Young Thug, this is years later. This is, this is, me and Game was 2002. Me and, me and Thug was 2012. So like 10 years later, I take a chance. He ended up becoming something great. Me and Future, I bring Future out here. No, we bring the Migos to the Bay. They're like, who the hell is these guys, man? Mm -hmm. Two months later, man, but, but what, man, give me the give me Quavo number. Give, I say, bro, I brought Future. Y'all didn't care nothing about the future, the Migo or Young Thug. But as soon as they hit the radio station out here, that's when everybody like, man, that's who the dudes big brung out here. JT brung them dudes, man. All oh, they in the movie with, oh, that's the same dudes. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. You didn't. Princess Gangsta Chronicles, we gon' tell you how it goes. Uh, if I lie, my nose will grow like Pinocchio. We gon' tell you the truth and nothing but the truth. Gangsta Chronicles, this is not your average show.